Hi, this video is from interview.com. Interview.com is a job portal. If you're looking for a job, you can log on to interview.com and you can post your resume with us. In this video, I'm going to talk about synchronized methods. Very important Java entry question. What are synchronized methods in Java? Synchronized methods are methods that are used to control access to an object. A thread only executes a synchronized method after it has acquired the lock for the methods object or class. Synchronized statements are similar to synchronized methods. So the first step is if you want to synchronize a method you should use this keyword synchronized it's it's a modifier synchronized modifier you should use before the method. So I have a method public synchronized void thread safe method. So when you should use synchronized method? If your method is going to handle data that is shared between multiple threads. I want to repeat this again. If your method is going to handle and uh, handle the data that is shared between multiple threads, then you should have thread safe method. That means two threads, two or multiple threads should not access the same data and mess the data at the same time. So in order to avoid that, we we want to protect this 10 lines of code. For example, this method has 10 lines of code. We want to execute this 10 lines of code atomic. That means single, uh, make it single transaction. So first thread, if it enters, for example, first thread enters, it should complete the 10 lines of code. Then it did, then it should release the lock. And until this thread one is complete, no thread will be allowed to enter any 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 of this any of this line of code okay any no other thread can enter and execute any line of this code okay any line in this code so for example thread one it says i got the lock so it will enter okay the moment it enter for example thread two try to enter it it will say i don't have the lock because thread one is already entered no one can enter and thread two will be waiting for the lock so thread one entered it it does the atomic operation that means 10 lines of code has been executed properly then once the thread one is done thread one release the lock it says i completed and i'm going to release the lock that means any other thread can use the same lock and start executing the same code so these 10 lines of code will become an atomic operation then thread thread 2 try to check whether lock is available yeah the lock is available now because thread 1 completed all these 10 lines of code execution is done so i'm going to use this so it will enter it will try to execute the moment it the thread 2 obtains the lock nobody can enter it okay enter this method because this is a thread safe method because it is a synchronized method so very important is you can tell to the interviewer i want to make if i want to make my method thread safe i will mark that method as synchronized hope this video is useful for your java interview preparation thank you and all the best for your interview if this video is useful for you please click the like button thank you